right, so I'm on my way to the border crossing of um, Ecuador into Colombia. I should be there in the next 20 minutes or so. Must admit, I'm a, uh, a little apprehensive about the border crossing itself. I met up with a couple of motorcyclists yesterday and they said that they had heard from some other cyclists that there was a, a 10 hour queue. There was dozens if not hundreds of Venezuelan refugees at the border crossing, I assume to get from Colombia into Ecuador. Either way, causing big delays. Naturally hoping that's not going to be the case for me now. And we'll see. We'll soon find out. This is the traffic for the border crossing. Hopefully as I'm uh, on bike I'll be able to slip through. Don't know, upset anyone, we'll see. This is a breathtaking road. Check out the waterfall. It's my uh, first day in Colombia. Getting through uh, passport control yesterday was slow moving, took about somewhere between four and five hours. A lot of Venezuelans there, who I'm told, uh, you know, to escape Venezuela because it's under such uh, political unrest at the moment. They're, um, they bounce between, the refugees bounce between Ecuador and Colombia, they get three months in each. So that's causing a lot of hold ups. Um, great to be in Colombia. Seems like a really great place. Uh, this is my last country for the trip. I'll be here for about six weeks. A lot of ground to cover, it's a big country. Rainforest in Colombia and it does exactly what it says on the tin. I'm in the middle of nowhere here, um, so I'm hoping someone's gonna look upon me kindly and take me in tonight. Uh, I'm gonna start riding again now. I just stopped for two minutes to get the waterproofs on. For what it's worth, you get completely soaked through anyway, but keeps you a little warmer, I suppose. And uh, yeah, you're getting dark in about an uh, I've still got a couple of hours actually, got about two hours so I'm going to ride now and you know every, for the last, well all day today, so for the last like six hours along this stretch of road there's been huts, you know homes to people, and very very small basic cafe restaurant type places, probably every, I don't know, sort of every hour or so, so maybe every 10k, um, so that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, they've got some sort of barn or something that I can shelter in because camping is possible. There's little patches here and there uh, and that'll be a last resort but it's, it's not nice in this weather. This will do me. Found somewhere pretty quick. Well straight away. Probably about 100 yards or so after the last bit of video in I've done. Um, don't know if someone lives here or not but it's locked up. Probably not. Probably just uh, a workplace storage area but it's fine for me to shelter in I've done the, the dog test screamed out to see if I'll get any responses from dogs because so many times in the past when I've got settled there's been properties or res some sort of residence or a work area but have dogs, most places have dogs for security I guess and they start yapping and once they start yapping it's uh, you know they go all night 
and go and iron, it's a real nuisance. So now before stopping anywhere like this, if I want to rest for any long period of time, I'll shout out just to see if I get any response. Yeah, hey, cheap guys. Okay. Again, but it's been nice being down here. Um, it's been a, a change of scenery. Good to see the cacti again. Um, but the heat has been far more uncomfortable than the, the cool air of the mountains, that's for sure. As you'd expect. on that front yeah looking forward to uh, getting back up I'm about halfway up through Colombia at the moment have probably about three weeks remaining of cycling I think it's the, the third or the fourth of Jan today I want to get to the northern coast by the 25th ideally to the last major city um, called Medellin should reach there tomorrow um, I'm in the central part of Colombia uh, passing through the, the coffee region this is a coffee plantation on the right hand side of me here these coffee plants right here really really lovely part of the world um, from Medellin I'll be coming down from the mountain range for the last time and then it's, uh, I should pretty much be down at sea level all the way to the end in uh, Santa Marta which will be about another week's riding from that point so about 10 days riding to go from here I'd say I want to wrap up on the 25th of Jan and it's the, it's the 13th today this is uh, Medellin, it's got a cable car network similar to La Paz, where I was in Bolivia probably about six months ago now. Massive, massive city built into the mountains, business district in the central valley, a huge shower 
pouring right down in the centre at the moment. Might be coming this way. Not sure whether the camera is picking that up, but it's uh, it's incredible to see to the naked eye. come for a, a short walk today uh, just outside Armenia um, in the middle of Colombia well middle of uh, the route that I'm taking um, and I'm in this forest of these very very tall palm trees They're very interesting fascinating and yeah they are super tall just had a, a two hour wait on the side of the road as the road was shut because I was clearing all of the uh, all of the trees and everything to the left and so they're doing some sort of uh, restoration to the road work and back on track now lost a lot of time today though um, so it will be a, an early finish oh, not particularly early but a short finish as to where I wanted to um, end up for the day, that's for sure. A longer day tomorrow. Never mind. <laughs> 